So this is the cold planet junior. This is what we're using to seed our hemp. Um, it's a very basic hand push plow. It's got a couple of features um, that do a lot more than just drop seed in the soil though. So this is the hopper where the seed is kept. We've only got a small amount of seed in here right now, but you could fit probably five pounds of hemp seed in here if it was all the way up to the top. The front wheel is the drive wheel. Um, it's flat and it smooths and packs the soil for the next step, which is here. This is a shovel. It's got a little blade on the end of it that cuts into the soil and it's an adjustable height. So here's the wing nut that you adjust the height with. It's got nine notches in the side of it and it goes from zero to an inch and a half. So we've got it on the third notch set at a half inch. And then this shovel here follows this, this plow on the front end and I've got it set to a half inch, the same depth as the very tip of this plow here. And that follows the plow and covers the groove that it makes. So if I, if I move this along the soil without the plow behind it, you should be able to see it making a groove. So here's the groove right here. You can see it just, it just barely splices the soil open. And um, when the, when the hopper is unlocked, you can come over here, you can see the brush turning inside the hopper. Come look inside the hopper here. The hopper, you can see the brush turning inside the hopper. That brush funnels the seed towards the seed plate on the underneath of the hopper. You can see it better on this side. This is the seed plate. It's got a bunch of different diameter holes in it. Um, we've got it set on, I think, number nine. Um, and it drops about one seed per inch. Um, so going further with the plow here, or with the cedar, after this gets covered by the shovel, you have this back wheel. And the back wheel has a, a concave shape to it. So that what it does is it follows through and packs the soil behind the seed that's just been dropped and covered. So it creates this nice little stretch. If you look down here, you can see what we've got here. This I already ran to make sure that we were dialed in correctly. And it does a pretty good job of dropping it right in the center of this packed hill right here. And as we uncover some, you'll be able to see there's seed in there. They're, they're in there. And they're, they're spaced pretty good here and about a half inch deep so that's what that's what we want and this soil is is almost too wet to work with so it's very very wet but it's still possible to use this thing through the wet soil it's a lot easier to use it through dry soil so let's just try to run a row I'm gonna run it the way I would normally run it, and then I'm gonna run it without the shovel so you can see that afterwards. So let's just run this row here. We'll see. It should be fairly smooth since the soil is so nice and worked well. See it got a little sloppy there at the end. But overall it's a pretty good run. And uh, I'm gonna lay this down. And if you look at what we just did, we'll try to find some seeds here and see how deep they're covered. There's some seed. There, yeah, there's our little part of our little groove, it looks like. There's one. There's more. So it's doing a pretty good job. We're getting we're getting covered by maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch of this really crumbly soil. Um, and that's that's good. 
and yeah, they, they're a little bit deeper, but they're packed in there well, so hopefully they'll, they'll be nice and sturdy when they germinate, and they'll all emerge relatively close to the same time. Um, if you go too deep, that's what the problem you're going to have is you're going to have seed coming up at all random different times. They have a hard time emerging when they're deeper than half inch. So that's the second row seed out in this bed. And our goal is to go about eight inches apart and get three passes per row here. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one more pass and I'm not gonna let the shovel cover it up this time. I'm just gonna pass and let the seed drop onto the soil so you can see what's happening without all those other steps. So I'm gonna unlock the cedar and just open it up so that the seed can fall through the seed plate. And now I'm gonna lift it up and just let the seed fall in the rate that it's falling at. And you'll see basically what we're working with here. So it falls out really quickly and kind of random when it's not falling into the groove that's plowed by the shovel. But when it's plowed by the shovel, it stays in a pretty tight row. We've got rows over there that they're just starting to germinate now and um, they're, they're coming up pretty straight uh, because they were packed in and covered by at least a half inch of soil. So that's our demonstration for today. Um, hopefully the cedar works out well and we've got a lot more to show you next week. So. You got to come back and check and see how well the germination went in the rest of our rows.